In more than 30 years of its service, the Hubble Space Telescope changed our understanding of the universe. Hubble made significant contributions to planetary science, galactic and extragalactic astronomy, stellar astrophysics, and even cosmology. And in these three decades, the telescope created several records in astronomy. But since Hubble primarily worked in the optical and UV region of the electromagnetic spectrum, it has its own limitations. However, the James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared observatory with giant primary mirrors, giving it an edge over the Hubble Space Telescope. So here are some of the Hubble records that Webb will surely break in its two decades of operations. In 2022, astronomers created a new extragalactic record by observing the farthest galaxy to date, named HD1. The light travel distance to HD1 is 13.5 billion light years, but the present proper distance which considers the universe's expansion is 33.4 billion light years. According to our current understanding, the universe began nearly 14 billion years ago, and the first stars formed at the beginning of the Stelliferous Era, about 150 million years later. And then, the first galaxies formed between 200 million to 500 million years after the Big Bang. The light from these galaxies is highly redshifted, requiring powerful infrared instruments to be observed. The look back time of these two telescopes varies significantly, thanks to Webb's design and instruments. For example, Hubble's near infrared capabilities can look back up to 500 million years after the Big Bang, but Webb's mid infrared instruments can go further back in time up to 250 million years after the universe began. So astronomers believe that the James Webb Space Telescope can easily break Hubble's look-back time record. The telescope can pick up infrared signals from 0.6 to 28 micrometers, allowing it to see those regions of the universe far from Hubble's reach. Although scientists have discovered the farthest galaxy to date, its nature remains a mystery. Even the powerful ground-based telescopes and the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, Webb's infrared predecessor, cannot describe the true nature of HD1. It could be a starburst galaxy with an exceptionally high star formation rate, or a quasar with a monster supermassive black hole feeding on the nearby matter. If it is a starburst galaxy, the star formation rate must be about 100 solar masses per year. That's almost 30 times the rate of the Milky Way. But if the luminosity of HD1 is due to quasar activity, then the mass of the central black hole must be around 100 million times that of the Sun, which is unusual given the epoch we are observing. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to provide detailed observations of HD1 and solve this mystery. A NASA administrator also said that Webb will release the deepest picture of the universe ever taken in the first set of images on July 12th. Like Hubble's deep field, Webb's most profound view of the universe will contain highly redshifted galaxies. Looking back to the era, no telescope has ever peered. This year, Hubble made another record by observing the farthest single star to date, Irindel. Hubble first observed the star's parent galaxy that was gravitationally lensed by a galaxy cluster in the foreground. Massive astronomical objects, such as galaxy clusters, distort the space-time fabric around them. As a result of this distortion, the light from the foreground celestial bodies bends when it passes close to these massive objects. Because of this gravitational lensing, the background galaxy containing Irindel appeared like an arc that the astronomers named the Sunrise Arc. 
But the team saw bright objects sitting on the edge of the distorted galaxy. Luminous sources in distant galaxies tend to be highly energetic events such as novas, supernovas, or tidal disruptions caused by black holes. These are transients that happen to change their brightness with time. Hubble's observations showed that the brightness of this object remained constant over three and a half years. Hence, astronomers concluded it's a gravitationally lensed bright star in Sunrise Arc. So Irindel's discovery was possible because the star was sitting at the right place at the right time. It will remain gravitationally lensed for a few more years, and the James Webb Telescope can determine its physical properties in detail. Irindel might belong to the rare class of stars known as the Population 3 stars. The first generation of stars formed at the beginning of the Stelliferous era and are known as metal poor stars because they lack heavy chemical elements in their composition. Unfortunately, we have never observed any Population 3 stars because most of them have died by now and others are too dim to be discovered directly. Besides making detailed observations of Irindel, Webb can detect even more distant, isolated stars, breaking this Hubble record. That's because star formation occurs in the corners of the universe, where the interstellar dust is the densest. Since the wavelength of infrared waves is more than visible and UV, they can penetrate deeper into the dust and are less hindered by the tiny dust particles that come their way. It allows this radiation to escape from the dust clouds, revealing things that get hidden from our eyes at a visible wavelength. So thanks to Webb's high infrared sensitivity and spectacular resolution, it will break another record by letting scientists see through the dust to study the birth of stars with unprecedented detail. Webb's observations will not just be limited to stars and galaxies. Instead, the telescope will provide detailed insights into exoplanets and their atmospheres. Recently, NASA confirmed discovering more than 5,000 exoplanets, but only 1% of the total number of confirmed exoplanets have been found through direct imaging using coronagraphs. This is because direct imaging requires bright planets that are well separated from their parent star, and coronagraphs in some way act as artificial eclipses and block out the natural light from a star so that all the nearby objects, which otherwise get concealed beneath the star's bright glare, can be seen. So far, most of the planets that have been detected are roughly 10,000 to 1 million times fainter than their host star, and undoubtedly, a population of planets is even fainter than that. With Webb's high contrast imaging methods and highly sensitive coronagraphs on board, astronomers can see planets that are more like 10 million or possibly even 100 million times fainter, significantly expanding the list of confirmed exoplanets. Webb will also find exoplanets via the traditional transit method along with direct imaging. The transit method involves looking for the dimming of starlight as its planet passes across the stellar disk, as seen from the Earth. Along with discovering new planets, the James Webb Space Telescope will also uncover the mysteries of the previously discovered worlds. At present, Hubble can measure the properties and observe the atmosphere of Saturn-like planets around Sun-like stars. Webb will take a step further and analyze many Neptunes around Sun-like stars and Earth-sized worlds around red dwarfs. In addition, Webb will perform spectroscopy of the planet's atmosphere to find the hidden details. One of Webb's most exciting planetary targets is TRAPPIST-1. It is a transiting planetary system about 40 light-years from Earth and is thought to comprise seven Earth-sized worlds orbiting a single red dwarf star. Webb will have a total of five programs dedicated to the observations of TRAPPIST-1. Webb will also look for diversity of biosignatures on the exoworlds, possibly answering the question if we are alone or not. 
Besides studying foreign worlds, it will undertake extensive studies about our solar system. For example, the telescope will be used to study 59 trans-Neptunian objects, which are the icy bodies lying beyond the orbit of Neptune. In addition, it is also hoping to observe an interstellar object passing through our solar system. Just like Oumuamua in 2017 or Comet Borisov in 2019. In the longer run, the James Webb Space Telescope will join forces with the Event Horizon Telescope to observe the black hole at the center of our galaxy. With all these record-breaking observations on its plate, Webb will be a game-changer for studying the universe. An incredible lot of cosmic observations are on their way. Where would you focus the James Webb Space Telescope if you got the opportunity to operate it someday? Let's see who has got the most exciting choice. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get all the updates of astronomy and astrophysics.